Hey guys, um, in today's video, I'm going to show you what is required if you want to replace your rear electrical center. Because for one of my upgrades, I need a different electrical rear electrical center that needs the proper contacts. So I thought I'd do a quick video on how to um, deprogram if you're going to a scrapyard like I did and program it into your car. But I've already done it, so I'm going to unprogram it and reprogram it to, to explain how to do it. So, first off, you will need to go into vehicle identification. Make sure it's the right one. Looks like it. Alright, and you need to copy and paste the VIN number. Or copy even. So you've got that now, right? So you get your car, the right one. All right, you need to go into body, and obviously down to rear electrical centre. Now you basically have to divorce it from the donor car, because otherwise, as I found out, if you don't, when you plug it in, because I had one before that was still programmed nothing worked the car wouldn't start the immobilizer kept flashing you couldn't read some of the other modules so it was quite big anyway so anyway you go into programming this is for when you remove it so insert your security code code is entered Mobilizer, is it, is it mobilizer or is it? No, that's correct. All right, immobilizer programming. All right, so you enter your code in here, has been accepted. Reset security code for REC. So we do that, and it comes up successfully done. All right, now. You have to, if you like, you write the VIN as I've already done it with mine, but then you put the VIN you just copied into there. You then, if you if you unpro if you just deprogram it, the car will still start. But if you then do a fault read on it, no security code programmed. And also, if you get it out of another car like I did that had uh, alarm systems and all that kind of stuff, it came up with loads of error codes, obviously, because the sensors weren't there anymore. So you have to deactivate them in program variant. And then that should clear that problem. So anyway, back to what we're doing. So you go back into program. Uh, mobilize programming. Set in security code again. And... Okay. Ah, maybe I need to come out of it. All right, yeah, I think I might need to come out of it. So, go back into it, let it read its thing again. Yeah, there's a little bit of learning curve. So, programming. Programming, enter security code. Hmm. Okay. Oh, up here first. Okay. Let's go right out of it and see if that'll do anything. See, not all these videos go according to plan. Alright, diagnostics. Uh, I wonder if because you don't have a security code, if it's not, it won't accept it. Hmm. 
I'm going to have to come back to that. So after a little bit of um, sleuthing, it turns out you have to power cycle the module. You know, take the key out, leave it for a minute, dry again, reconnect everything, and then it'll let you put the security code in. You then have to go to program security code. And it says it's about for a mobilised system. And it's programmed. So now, when you go back to here, you no present, no code's present because you programmed it. And now all the functions should be available to do, like so. There you go, and all's well. So that, and I think it's pretty much the same with most modules. Just have to remember to power cycle the thing before you try changing the codes or putting the new code in so anyway but saying that if you're unplugging it from another car there's no more power cycling than that is there because it's basically cutting the power to everything but anyway i hope that helps some people and i will say goodbye <laughs>